Welcome back to part six of the Hammerhead build. Today we gotta get this thing ready to get the motor in. Ran into some issues, I'll let you know what they are in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put the rear end back under it for now. Um, digging through my parts and notice that I'm missing the other half of the reverse box. Kind of hard to put this uh, motor in without the reverse box. So I found uh, a guy on OfferUp that has one. I'm gonna go pick it up tomorrow, uh, providing he's home, and uh, I'll go ahead and get that put in. But I'm just gonna get this set back under here for now and get the shocks on it so I can at least move it around without having to have my creeper underneath the back of it. It kind of makes it difficult having two pieces of it from a storage standpoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together right now. Today I'm finally getting the motor in this thing. Uh, I found the bolts. This is a rear hanger for it. The problem is it's so rusted. It's so rusted it won't tighten any farther than that. So I'm gonna have to pull out my uh, bench grinder with the uh, wire wheel attachment and get that thing cleaned up. But what we're gonna do to put the motor on is to remove the basket. So you have to take out the one of on these on either side, pull these loose, which you'll probably have to loosen the, the top as well to get that out enough where you can pop this loose. You get those loose and then you pull off this bolt here and this bolt here. And then we can pull this little cage, little cage right here completely off and then mount it to the motor. And then we can pick the cage with the motor in it, back up, put it in, bing, bong, bing, Bob's your uncle. Uh, let me show you the other engine bolt that uh, I'm gonna have to work on here. This thing is grody. So here's what I got in that rusty box I showed you guys before. But if you really look, yeah, the threads, you can't even, that's as far as I can get it on. Those threads are terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my bench grinder there and get these things cleaned up. I'll pull that uh, basket off here real quick. And we'll get this motor mounted in there. Kind of excited. All right, so when you're taking these out, uh, the bolt is a 19 on this side. 17 on this side. Okay, just so you know. Uh, we got the, the cage off here. Once again, I'll show you. Rusty, rusty, musty. It won't hardly even uh, thread on there. So I'm gonna pull those off, get them on the grinder, and uh, let's get that motor set in there. So I was able to get these things cleaned up with the little wire wheel there on the grinder. I'll actually Loosen up and tighten real easy now in comparison to what they were for sure. Just did my last one here. And then I cleaned up the main motor mount bolt. Looks a little better, huh? I'm telling you, a little grinder wheel. <coughs> Sorry, wire wheel. Clipping. You can see all the mess over there. They worked like a wonder, like a champ. Got the. See if I can get it to zoom in here. A little better there we go now it'll actually thread on there so anyway let's get this motor down and put this thing together
bring this up. Anybody who has a reverse box for a GY6 that is looking to get rid of it, I am in dire need of one, and I do not feel like spending 200 bucks. I found cheapest to found was like 169, but it's 200 by the time I ship it from basically China back over here. Uh, if anybody has a used one or one that I can refurbish, uh, I'd be in debt forever. I will uh, gladly pay for it, uh, whatever the cost is. But um, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and get this in and try and get that figured out. But if, you, if somebody has one of those reverse boxes out there, that'd be a huge help. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck at that part. Of course, once I get this in, I'm going to switch over to the wiring. So yet another issue I ran into. Um, when trying to put two of these seats together in there, it's they're too wide. I have 36 inches width in there for two seats, and these are 41. So looking around, seats are crazy, crazy expensive, but I already invested some money in these. But uh, I'm looking at, since these are a uh, composite, I'm looking at possibly cutting right along here on both sides for both of them and getting them close together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do about making that happen. But uh, I think that's the only choice I have for these things. Uh, the seats were too wide, so I just took a saw, shaved them down. I'll probably just put a seat cover on there, but I sat in them. They're actually pretty comfy. I'm going to pull these out and then start running the um, brake lines back through and putting in the master cylinder, which is now removed. And I'm going to start putting the electrical in, and then I will go ahead and figure out these seats and get the shifter and stuff back in there. But that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna keep rolling. All right, a little warning. Oh, can you hold that on? A little warning when you go to put on this rear bracket that bolts right here. If you're going with a new motor, see how that's not the right size? I have to find a way to either widen this or get a different one that's wider to get it to fit on there. Plus the bolt, the new bolt that came, see that, won't fit through like that and it also has it on the other side. So I can use the original bolt, that'll, that'll work and it is long enough to go through here. But I either have to shave this off, which eh, I don't think I'm going to do that to a brand new case, I don't want to crack this or I can find a way to widen this and make it still work. But just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Uh, one of the issues I've run into, I'm sure there'll be a few more before we're done, but we're gonna get her done. So I was able to get the motor in. Um, I did run into the issue with the rear mounting bracket. As you can see, just for last night, I just went ahead and put some wire on it to hold the back end of it up. But uh, I got it setting in there for now. Just put in the uh, brake reservoir, the brake master cylinder and reservoir, and I'm going to get the brake lines hooked up to that, uh, get those hooked up to the brake uh, brakes themselves. I did just receive some uh, new brake pads here, so I'm going to get those put into the rear caliper. I'm uh, going to lay in the new wiring I got going up to the front and into the dash, connect it to the headlights, start pulling all of my cabling back down through those two little clips and uh, see how far I can get today. So, here we go. When installing your master cylinder, uh, it's pretty simple. You have a brake line that goes to this tire here. You have another one. This one here feeds all the way back. And then you have one more that goes over to the other side, over to here. And you have right, left and rear. Just wanted to point that out. So here's what it'll look like when you have them all in and tighten down to the German spec good and tight. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tightened up in here and then uh, reconnect the caliper to the brake line. Our master cylinder install is complete. Just need to bleed them bad boys out now. Uh, ran into another issue. I was going to change these pads out on the rear. Uh, this one's got a little bit of meat on it, but uh, that's just a piece of metal. There's nothing on it. 
So I found the square ones that are rectangle or whatever that looked like uh, the ones I have, and that's not uh, that's not right. Not wide enough. Don't have the two tabs on it. So these will be going back, and I'll be getting the right ones. So I will have to wait to finish up the brake system. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a runner. Check her out. Well, still working on the idle. I guess if I put an air breather on the front, I'll probably idle a little better, but she's a runner. <laughs> He's a ripper. Thanks for watching part six. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're almost to 800 subscribers. That's insane. You guys are the reason I do this and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this thing rolling. Thanks, see you next time.